Every single Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet has its own Terra type. Normally wild Pokemon in the open world when caught will have a Terra type matching one of their base types, i.e. Tinkatink is a fairy and steel type, and when you catch it in the wild, it will have one of two Terra types, either fairy or steel. In today's video, we're gonna go through everything you need to know about Terra types, how to change Terra types, and how to collect Terra shards. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. It's only when you encounter one of the golden glowing Pokemon in the wild, when these Pokemon can have rarer Terra types that they normally would wouldn't have. Like this wild Terra Dragonite, who has a steel Terra typing opposed to its normal dragon or flying Terra types. The best way to get different Terra types is through Terra Raids. These colored crystals that appear around the Paldea region give you access to Pokemon with endless different Terra type combinations. The only drawback is these Terra Raids are pretty random, so finding that specific Pokemon you want with the exact Terra type can be very difficult and super time consuming. And there are only 99 Pokemon that are currently available through these Terra Raids in game. So what about the Pokemon that are left out in the Paldea decks? Well, there is in fact a way to change your Pokemon's Terra type to any of the 18 different types available in the game. This is not a super straightforward process, but it can be done. To do this, you will need to visit Medali Town and head to the Medali Treasure Eatery. You will of course had to have beat the Medali Gym Leader to have access to this facility, once inside the restaurant and you've beat the gym leader, you can talk to the chef who will offer you to change any Pokemon's Terra type for the cost of 50 Terra Shards of the type you want to change your Terra Pokemon to have. And upon your first visit and your conversation with the Medali Treasury Chef, you'll get given a bonus 50 normal Terra Shards, which is a nice little way to get started if you want to turn anything into a normal Terra type. So the basis of this service is if you wanted to change your Pokemon's Terra type, you would need 50 Terra Shards of that type to do so. This is pretty straightforward, but Terra Shards aren't an easy item to collect. The best way to obtain Terra Shards is from Terra Raids. Once you complete a Terra Raid, as part of your rewards, you will be given at least four Terra Shards. This can depend on the star rating of the Terra Raid, of course. But generally speaking, you're going to get an average of four. You can sometimes get six or even more. The type of Terra Shard you will receive will be based on the type of the Terra Raid you complete. If you beat a water type Breloom, for instance, you will receive water type Terra Shards. So if you want to collect 50 poison shards to change, let's say, any Pokemon you have to a poison terror type, and you roughly receive four poison terror type shards per poison terror raid, that would roughly work out to needing to defeat 12.5 terror poison raids. That doesn't sound a lot, but when you consider that each terror raid will roughly take between five to seven minutes at best, and we'll work this out on the higher end here, to get enough terror shards to change a Pokemon's terror type based on this information, it will take around one hour and 30 minutes. Minutes. If you have a team of six Pokemon you want to change, that's around nine hours. So it's going to definitely be a little time consuming to get a full team change. So maybe if you have a Pokemon you want with a specific Terra type, if that Pokemon is available within the Terra Raids, i.e. one of the 99 Pokemon available through these Terra Raids, then you might be better off just hunting it in the specific raid dens around the region. And remember, if you get through checking every single den for that specific Pokemon and you've had no luck, you can always use the datescape glitch to respawn a new batch of terror raids this just means going into your home menu into your system settings into system date and time and knock the date forward one day make sure that your internet is off via the internet then come back into game and you'll see these messages pop up about mass outbreaks and your terror raids and once you go back onto the map you'll be able to see the terror dens have moved around they've respawned and they've got new options in them which may mean you'll find the pokemon that you're looking for with that specific terror type Terra Shards can also be found as rare item drops around certain locations in the region, and also when you battle against the wild Terra Pokemon, the ones we talked about earlier with that glowing aura. Once those battles are finished, you will normally collect Terra Shards as a reward at the end, but it's never a guarantee. But this is another option for collecting these hard to get items. There are also 50 Dragon Terra Shards you can receive from Hassel when you talk to him in the school and create a close bond with him. 
The same can be done with Miss Time, who upon completion will give you 50 rock terror shards. At the moment, there are a few ways to collect terror shards, and there doesn't seem to be a very fast method to doing this. But hopefully, as the games go on and we get more event dens, we'll get more opportunities to get higher payouts of these terror shards in specific types that'll make it easier for changing terror types on Pokemon in the future. But the nice aspect is it is a possibility to go into the game and be able to change whatever Pokemon you have and its terror type to whatever you want it to be. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our Scarlet and Violet coverage here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, bye bye.